Undocking confirmed. Physical separation confirmed at 4.51 p.m. Central Time, 5.51 p.m. Eastern Time as the Soyuz TMA-20M spacecraft in the International Space Station flew 258 statute miles over eastern Mongolia. Separation of the objects of the vehicle. Copy. An outstanding view from the truss camera, one of the new HD external cameras. Expedition 49 technically underway. There are no objects in it, so nothing, no foreign objects. Copy. The journey home begins for Williams, Ochinin, and Skorpochka. Yes, one and two is done, so now we're getting ready for thrust to select. Uh, 0, 0, 52, 30. We have a selection of the thrusters. Copy. Thrusters have been selected. Now a view from uh, the black and white external uh, engineering camera on the Soyuz vehicle, showing it backing away from the uh, Poisk module to which it was attached since March 19th. Uh, visually, we see that range is about 20 meters. Copy. About 40 seconds away from the first of two separation burns by the Soyuz vehicle. In 30 seconds, uh, we expect that the thrusters will burn. And the first of the two separation burns underway. This is an eight second burn of about five-tenths of a meter per second to increase the opening rate of the Soyuz from the International Space Station. was eight seconds, and now we're maneuvering along the roll attitude. And uh, roll maneuver is underway to place uh, the Soyuz in the proper attitude and orientation for the second of these two separation burns, a much larger burn coming up of 30 seconds in duration. Uh, that uh, is, is expected uh, within the next minute. So we confirmed 21 degrees along the GSO. Copy. So in 40 seconds, we expect the separation burn number two. Copy. Again, undocking occurring on time at 4.51 p.m. Central Time as uh, the Soyuz TMA-20M spacecraft and the International Space Station flew 258 statute miles over eastern Mongolia. So we see that uh, the DPO was lit up at 005552. The burn was and the uh, second separation burn is underway, 30-second burn. 20 seconds. 
25 seconds. 25 seconds. So, burn. And the burn is complete and good. So, DPO thrusters no longer lit up. We've got the instructions for the cycle. So, B, uh, DUT is off, as well as the KDO is off. Copy. So now we're switching to page 98. We confirm. So, E1. Moscow, can I switch to a different image? Or can I follow? Yes, please, go ahead, do as convenient for you. This view of uh, the control panel in the uh, Soyuz vehicle uh, with all the various parameters, uh, this is the final in the series of TMA vehicles, the 20M, that is coming home for a landing in South Central Kazakhstan, landing about three hours and 16 minutes from now. A good view of the uh, Soyuz TMA-20M spacecraft. Moscow, this is Burlaki-1. Could you tell us when we can deactivate the TV? At 0105. Copy, 0105. The Soyuz uh, will continue to uh, make its way to a safe distance away from the International Space Station for uh, the next major milestone, which will be the deorbit burn coming up in two hours and 21 minutes. Alexei Ovchinin uh, will be deactivating uh, the Soyuz docking mechanism, no longer needed, and uh, is deactivating the television transmitter. They will uh, begin to set uh, their controls in the descent module uh, for the dynamic operations as they enter the descent mode following uh, the deorbit burn. There will be a bit of free time for the crew as they prepare for descent. Meanwhile, uh, at the landing uh, site uh, in south central Kazakhstan, the landing team, Rosaviatsa, the Russian search and recovery forces, along uh, with the embedded uh, NASA landing team, le led by Sean Fuller, the director of uh, human spaceflight operations in Russia, will soon uh, be preparing uh, to make their way to the Jez Kazgan Airport uh, for the go-ahead 
from the uh, search and recovery team to board Russian MI-8 helicopters en route to the landing site itself. 